you know I'm slamming candy doughs Or try to have brain doughs I'm known to roll 80 foes That's how we do it on the third coast H-Town on the map, ho So take a listen close Big Benz, Big Bourbon Good morning, YouTube. What's going on? This is Lockout Men in the truck. Literally, in the truck. What's going on on this Sunday morning, man? I just had to come up and tell you guys that it's a lot of crazy stuff that went on in the past 24 hours. Two, four, just a day crazy right all this craziness this madness what's going on people why your life is not it's not where you want it to be why you gotta go and do these type of things what makes you do these things in 24 hours mass 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 amount of shootings in 24 hours man we got we got 20 that 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 a shooter killed in El Paso, Texas. We got two up in Mississippi. We got 20, well, we got nine up in Dayton, Ohio. And we got two what I mean up in Chicago. What's going on, people? What, what What's going on? What's going on? I don't get it. I don't get it. Man, look. Ain't there some kind of way that you can, you can focus your anger instead of going to get a gun and do this crazy stuff? What is... What is... What is... It's time to pray, y'all. It's time to pray this what this world is coming to i don't know i don't know but let's get into it because i don't have that much time because today i am leaving out i am heading where i'm heading to wisconsin wisconsin and then i got a reload out of illinois <laughs> go figure illinois but uh hopefully when i get up to wisconsin i'm prob hopefully i get close enough to Potawatomi and maybe maybe play a hand there I don't know but anyway let's get into it man El Paso Texas mass shooting at a crowded Walmart that leaves 20 dead let's uh let's see what the news got to say about it says 20 people were killed and at least 26 were injured. El Paso, Texas. I was just down there. I was just down at Texas. Here's some video footage of, uh, of the people running up out of there. Let's go, let's go. Oh my God. Too much of a shaky cam. Gunfire began at 11 a.m. One person in custody. Hospitals are treating the victim. We do have one person in custody. I can confirm that it is a white male in his 20s. The estimates of the shoppers at Walmart were between one and 3,000 with 100 employees present. Uh, it is back to school and it, the Walmart was uh, at, at, at capacity when the, the shootings uh, occurred. Police said the gunman fired a rifle into a crowded store. Texas grieves for the people of El Paso today. On a, on a day that would have been a, a normal day for someone to leisurely go shopping, turned into one of the most deadly days in the history of Texas. Lives were taken who should still be with us today. 
And just think, they only went there just to go shopping. Who knew? Authorities are investigating the manifesto and connection. Man, Walmart, El Paso, Texas, man. That's that's crazy. That's crazy, man. That is that is crazy. I don't get it. I don't understand it, man. What makes people do these types of things, man? I mean, if if you gotta, then everyone loses their minds. You you gotta be some kind of special to to get up one morning and just say I want to go out and just wipe out everybody I come across so sad so sad um, of course El Paso Texas you guys would get back together um, you know prayers to you guys and uh, my my heart goes out to you Texas I love Texas don't get me wrong I love me some Texas man you guys down there show me a lot of love you know what I'm saying so you know, you guys will get back together. All right, let's uh, let's flip from uh, let's flip from Texas. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Update, update, update. While I was in the midst of editing this video, I got an update for you guys. Check it out, check it out. El Paso, Texas. We already know that the man shot up a Walmart. We already know that he went into the Walmart and shot it up. This is what's what's up. The dude's name is Patrick Cousins. Cruz Cruzin us. Cruzin us? Something like that. Y'all, y'all, y'all get the gist of the name. He happened to be 21 years old. He just turned 21 years old. Crazy, right? What we know so far, or what I know so far, or what I found out so far, 20 people were killed. Dozens was injured near a shopping mall, which was Walmart. A white male suspect has been identified as Patrick Cruzinus. He was taken in the mid, I mean, he was taken into custody without incident, and he admitted to, uh, to doing the damn things over to Mississippi yeah 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 let's head over to Mississippi where this article says that the victim of a Mississippi Walmart what all these things have in common Walmart <laughs> Walmart yeah. uh kind of kind of made me not want to go into Walmart no more even though I am parked at a Walmart <laughs> believe it or not Victims of a Mississippi Walmart shooting has been identified. A disgruntled employee who killed two co-workers and wounded an officer at a Mississippi Walmart on Tuesday now faces murder charge. Authorities identified suspect Martez Terrell Abram, 39, of South, ha of South Haven. Abram is a longtime Walmart associate who recently was suspended. Abram faces two counts of murder after he fatally shot one employee inside the store in South Haven, the third, the third largest city in Mississippi, and killed an employee outside the store. Anthony Brown, 40, and Brandon Giles, 38, were identified as victims. Champion said, the case will be presented to a grand jury and official and will officially charge Abram. The charge may be upgraded, the district attorney says. The gunfire broke out Tuesday morning when 60 employees were in the Walmart. Suspect was well inside the store for a few minutes. Officers arrived within three minutes of the 911 call. Customer Carlos Odom was walking out of the store when he heard a gun, uh, bunch of gunshots. Both the suspect and the responding officer were shot and treated at the hospital. Officer says, officer was saved by his bulletproof vest. Well done, yeah. This is the guy right here. <laughs> now, now see, you must've got fired, right? You got fired, you got disgruntled, you got pissed off, you went after the manager and just came back to the store 
and said, fuck the world. I'm going to take care of this guy for effing me over. Long time associated, he says. How long is a long time? How long is a long time? Let's see what the news have to say about it. Be sheriff's deputies in DeSoto County, Mississippi, say at least two people are now dead. This in an early morning shooting at a Walmart. Our Nick Valencia joins us now with breaking developments. Also reports of a police officer down. Is that right? That's right, Jim. Here we uh, have very limited information at this hour. This is still a very uh, fluid situation, a developing situation. But here's what our assignment desk has been able to confirm so far. Two people were shot dead at a Walmart in South Haven, Mississippi. Don't you just DeSoto hate County buffering. Sheriff Bill Rasco uh, tells CNN, an officer responding to the shooting and the suspect were both shot in the early morning incident and are being treated at nearby hospitals. Uh, there are several responding agencies, including South Haven Police, as well as the County Sheriff's Department. They uh, evidently have secured the area and the investigation into the cause of the shooting is ongoing. According to local affiliate reporting, this shooting, hap this, uh, shooting happened at around 6.30 or 6.45 uh, at the Walmart store there off South Crest Parkway on Goodman Road. Uh, this is, as I mentioned, still a, a developing situation here, and we're working on getting more information, but this is what we can tell you, two dead in a shooting uh, early this morning at a Mississippi Walmart. Man, man, oh man, yo, it's... <sighs> I mean, the guy was just, I don't know. The guy was just on, it, it, I don't know, man. Uh, and there has been a lot of postal, you know, employees just going postal, you know, for whatever reason, you know, maybe he just, uh, I don't know. Well, then everyone loses but what you guys lose. think? What you guys think so far, man? Crazy, right? Crazy. Let's switch over from. Dayton, well, not Dayton, I'm sorry, what I said, we, we going to Dayton, we going to Dayton, so we coming from Mississippi, and we heading down to Dayton, Ohio, well, heading up to Dayton, Ohio, let's see what's going on over there, over there, nine dead, 26 injured in a shooting at a Dayton, Ohio club, just a night of fun, just a night of just going out with your friends, your buddies, but you know how clubs get. You know how clubs get, right? You just know how clubs get. Nine people are dead after a shooting in Dayton, Ohio, according to the police. Dayton, Ohio police says the suspect also dead. At least 26 other people was injured in the incident that took place within 13 hours of a shooting that was up in the El or down in El Paso, Texas. Dayton, the Dayton shooting took place around 1 a.m. on East 5th Street in the city's Oregon district, a popular downtown area. Dayton police. OK, we can skip all that. The suspect who was shot and killed by the responding officers has not yet been identified. The shooter fired multiple rounds from a lone gun. The shooting happened as the suspect was making his way towards a bar called Ned Peppers. The shooter wore body armor. Yeah, dude was out. <laughs> dude was out for something that night. That night. All right, so the following update. Uh, they said that the shooter used a .223 high caliber gun and had additional magazines with him. The .223 caliber is used in rifles like AR-15. In less than one minute, Dayton first responders neutralized the shooter. I really want to think, or I really want to think about that for a minute. The shooter was able to kill nine people and injure 26 in less than a minute. And if we did not have police in the Oregon district and that thousands of people in the Oregon district enjoying their Saturday evening, what we could have had this, I mean, what we could have had in this city. Yeah, it would have been a massacre if, if you guys didn't have the if you guys didn't have the police down there to neutralize that dude. Police said the suspect acted alone and that there was no remaining threat to the community, but an investigation is ongoing. So let's see what the news have to say about that.
Here is what some people, some of the witnesses, people who were inside, who were out for just a fun night, here is what they had to say about what they saw. You guys were here for a girls' night. Tiffany, or Nikita, you have an interesting story. You saw a young woman that you spoke to in one of the clubs you were in, and then describe the next time you saw her. She was laying on the on the concrete deck outside of the club that we was at. Mm. What did you guys say to each other? We told each other that we but liked our, each other's it. outfits, and we thought each other was cute. And, and Tiffany, you're here, you ran into your goddaughters out here and it was a good time, usually a good night out here. And then what happened when the chaos broke out? Um, people just started running. They started pushing us out the back door into the alley out the back because they didn't want us coming out the front because they didn't know where the shooter was or how many there was. Did you hear shots at all or you just heard people running and people telling everyone to get out the way? We didn't hear shots when we were upstairs because of the music, but the people downstairs did hear the shots. All right, so sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that, guys. A lot of buffering. <laughs> A lot of buffering. I tried to, like, buffer it out, but it doesn't seem to work. But Update number two. Number two, number two, number two, number two. Come to find out a little bit more about the Dayton, Ohio shooter. Yeah, the young man, 24 year olds, he injured 27 people and killing nine in one minute. One minute. Can you believe that? In one minute. Wow. Before cops even got there and took him down. Suspected gunman Connor Bates, 24, opened fire on the Ohio bar. Nine people was killed, 27 others was injured at the Ned Peppers Bar in daytime. Shortly after 7 a.m., police revealed that the man was wearing body armor. Also, in another shocking tidbit of information, sister of Dayton gunman and her boyfriend was both found dead in their car. He killed his sister and his brother-in-law or boyfriend my fault boyfriend let's get some information about mr connor betts wow this guy looks they they just look like regular people man regular people that just snap Here are the victims. They leave behind. Oh, that's a beautiful baby right there. Let's see what they have to say. So I'm going to repeat some of the things I said this morning just to give some information. At 107 this morning, this event occurred in uh, our historic Oregon district. Uh, the suspect was wearing body armor and used an AK like gun assault rifle 223 caliber with high capacity magazines and he had additional magazines with him as well uh, we had 10 fatalities including the shooter that number is still the same from um, this morning uh, and um, we have had uh, the hospitals have had 27 people treated and 15 discharged as of 10 o'clock this morning in less than one minute, Dayton first responder, uh, responders neutralized the shooter. Uh, I'm just still completely amazed at the her heroic nature of our police department uh, where they uh, did a first aid, uh, stopped the shooter with under a minute, and so we were grateful for their service. If you are a family or friend of a victim and have questions, you can call. 937-333-8430 uh, uh, or come to the convention center uh, and if you have any information on the incident as this incident is ongoing please call 937-225-6217 uh, we are grateful for all of the supporters and folks helping us from the American Red Cross, Gadaha, the FBI, ATF, etc. Uh, the community blood bank is supporting the hospitals and we are working with Well, I mean, wow. 
Wow. Less than one minute, dude was able to hurt a lot of people, man. A lot of people. But the cops got there, took him out. And, uh, and yeah. And, yeah. So, that's the update. That's the update. So, let's continue on with the video. But, you know, the gist of the story was that it was, you know, it was just chaos at that club. And that dude, whoever he was, um came out and um and did the damn thing did the damn thing so sad so sad and this is and this is with all in 24 hours man all right so we're gonna leave from dayton ohio and we're heading to chicago man come on chicago Come on, I'm on my way. Well, I'm on my way to Illinois, but not. Well, I'm on my way through Illinois, but I'm on my way to Illinois for the relay. But anyway, two dead and at least 14 wounded in a shooting across Chicago. Man, let's let's just get into the bullet points right here. Friday in the 1900 block of South Miller. Approximately 7:18, a 19-year-old man was walking in the alley when a man put a gun out on him and shot him in the lower back. For what? Why? A five-year-old boy was shot during the altercation in the set 67 block of South Parnell, according to police. During the incident, a 33-year-old woman was in the hallway when she got into an altercation with a 28-year-old woman. The older woman was stabbed during the altercation and another man, a 34-year-old man, was stabbed. Another individual, a 29-year-old man, then pulled out a gun and fired at the woman as she was attempting to get into the car. That gunfire struck the little boy who was hitting the leg. At approximately 9.48 p.m. in the 3700 block of West George, a 35-year-old man was standing in an alley when he heard gunshots. The man was taken to an Illinois Masonic where he was listed in stable condition with a gunshot wound to his leg. In the 77 block of South Chicago Avenue, approximately 11:27, a 29-year-old man was driving when a person in a red vehicle opened fire on him, striking the victim in the hand. That was Friday. That was that was all on Friday. Saturday. <laughs> approximately 1:03 in the morning at the 9100 block of South Baltimore, a 21-year-old man was riding in a car when a person in another vehicle opened fire, striking him in the arm and the leg. In the 2000 block of West 70th Place, approximately 1.57 in the morning, a 39-year-old woman was standing with a group of people when a man on foot opened fire, hitting her in the leg. Two men were shot at the 8,000 block of Stewart at approximately 3.35 in the morning. Sunspotter alerted police to the shooting. When they arrived to the scene, they discovered a 27-year-old man lying on the street, suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. He was taken to the hospital, while the 25-year-old man who was shot in the leg is in stable condition. Approximately 4.37 a.m. in the 6900 block of North Ashland, a 32-year-old man was riding a bike when a person in a white Ford Focus opened fire on him, striking him in the leg. In the first block of South Leamington, approximately 4.47 a 23-year-old man was standing in a group of people when a person opened fire, striking him multiple times in the hip. Approximately 9:34, I mean 9:42 in the morning, in the 2300 block of South Emerald, a 38-year-old man was walking when a man approached him, pulled out a gun, and opened fire, striking him in the stomach. And 
A 22-year-old man was shot in the 300 block of East 132nd Place approximately 3.11 p.m. The man was standing in front of a residence when a person in a vehicle opened fire, striking him in the left foot. Come on, y'all. Come on. Come on, y'all. Come on. I mean, Chicago. I mean, if we look at Chicago, man, I mean, this... All, all this happened within like 24 hours. This is like, this is like an episode of 24. This is the longest day of my life. I mean, damn it, man. Well, look, y'all. I'm glad you guys here for you know for the news from you know from all this this madness that's going on and everything. Yo, I appreciate you guys showing me love and support. Continue to do that. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you like videos like this and more, yo, hook a brother up. And yo, get me some coffee, man. Give me some coffee. Support the channel. Do whatever you could do to support this channel, man. Hook a brother up. With all that said, I really do appreciate it. And yo, come back again for the next uh next next video. Yeah, next video. I'm going to I'm going to call it the next video. Come back. Come back. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.